Okay, so first thing we should mention is the elephant in the room. The elephant is the room. It's a new location. This is not my front yard. So we are in our brand new warehouse. So get used to it. I think you'll end up seeing this place quite a bit in the future. We're actually renting this space for my business and I'm actually sharing it with one of my friends. His name is Sam. I'm sure you'll see him around at some point. And uh, this is a place where we'll be storing cars as well as working on cars. So let's just get straight into that. Today is a fun day. And I'm sure you already know from the thumbnail and all that, but doing my first kind of real mod? I don't know. Anyway, it's a small thing, but just uh, installing an intake or just an air filter uh, on the Sylvia and let's see how it goes. You go in here. So this should be a very simple, cheap, and easy little mod to do. And when it comes to expected performance gains, not really hoping for much. Realistically, what I really want, what I really want more than anything, are turbo sounds. If you watched my last video, testing out and driving the, the stock Sylvia, one of the things that I find really disappointing about this car is the complete lack of turbo sounds. And I'm sure if you're anything like me, you buy a turbo car, you want to hear the turbo sounds. You want to hear the whoosh bang. You want to hear the stutatoos. You want to hear the whoosh. So if I can just hear the faintest whistle of a turbine, I'm gonna be happy with this one. So we'll slap this thing in as quick as we can and uh, we'll see if we can take it out on the road and uh, hopefully hear some turbo sounds. Let's do it. And that's where 10 mils go to die. Uh, okay. All right, stock air filter. Not looking too bad, actually. Yeah, not so nice on the bottom side, but. And now we should have just a couple more bolts holding this last bottom half of the uh, air box in. So we're almost there. Ooh, I can see my 10 mil. <laughs> she lives. I'm coming for you, buddy. Just hold on. Ooh, that's going to be hard to reach. I got it. My pride will not allow me to tell you how long it took to get this. But I got it. Okay, so now that we've got the air box off, just time to put some of this stuff together. So, got this little apex bracket, and it is apex, by the way. It's not apexy, all right? So, hot tip there, straight from Japan, that's legit. But seriously, say whatever you like. Anyway, so, yep, we've got this little thing here, little adapter bracket, gasket, right? Should be a piece of cake. Slap it on there, that goes onto the filter. Wham bam. So, let's see. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, so in the kit they also provide a couple of these brackets for securing the filter in place. We'll get those bolted up to where they need to go. 
and uh, take it from there. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how this is supposed to be positioned, so I'm just gonna fit it loosely so I can figure it out later. Okay, so now for the brackets, just to hold this floppy thing in place, we're gonna unbolt this little bottle right here bracket, and we'll stick this on under there, and it should just go right behind here. And uh, if you're doing this yourself, well, you'll figure it out where the bottom one goes. It just has to line up with the bolt, so um, yeah, that should be that. All right, so we'll replace this little stumpy one with this longer, beautiful black one. All right, all right, all right. What's going on? We have visitors. These are my roommates. So we're done. It's installed, it's all very shikari shiteru, like uh, very firmly held in place. That baby's not going anywhere. Got this uh, little sensor clipped back in. Everything looks good, pretty simple. And I even put my little uh, OEM snorkel back for whatever small airflow that's worth. And the only thing that's left to do is just to test it to see if everything works all right. And then ultimately, the most important thing, if it sounds awesome or not. And uh, it's late now, so I think I'll probably have to just wrap that up tomorrow uh, with a little sound test, driving test, and then uh, we're all finished. So uh, I'll see you then. All right, it's another day now, and as promised, I'm gonna give you a little bit of before and after with the new pod filter. So before sounded a bit like this. It's all right. And now, let's cut to the after. Simply put, I'm very pleased. I can hear turbo. There is a turbo on this car. A little bit of a turbo whine, uh, even a little bit of blow off or whatever you want to call that, like bypass sound, uh, which was a surprise. And uh, overall, very pleased. So I think that's it for that one. So see you in the next one. Bye.